Rocket Lab just isn't a rocket company. And Rocket Lab just isn't a space systems company. Rocket Lab is an AI company. And some of you all might already know that, but for a lot of you all, you might not even realize or even think of Rocket Lab as being an AI play, something that should be in your AI portfolio. Now, I'm going to dive into the reasons why I think Rocket Lab is a hidden AI play and why I think you might want to have it in your portfolio. If you already have it in your stock portfolio, congratulations. Uh, you know, you're part of the ongoing community and uh, I, I too am also heavily invested in Rocket Lab. But that is not why I make videos on Rocket Lab. I am not making videos to promote the stock. I'm simply trying to keep investors informed of what is going on and potential investors of why I love this company so much. And, you know, I have seen it from way, way long ago. Um, before it even hit the stock market. And then all of a sudden it hit the stock market and now it's 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 gotten pretty big. It's blown up quite a bit. But uh, I think there's a lot more to come. So stay tuned and I'm gonna go over exactly why I think Rocket Lab is the perfect AI play. So while everyone is looking at Nvidia and Palantir, Rocket Lab is quietly obtaining all the tools they need to build the infrastructure, the backbone, the data, collect everything they need to create this AI, okay? This amazing um, AI infrastructure, not on Earth, okay, like all the other AI companies are doing, but in space. So to me, this makes Rocket Lab, you know, stellar literally and believe me i love all things space that's there's no doubt about that so i think each space company has something amazing that is bringing to the table rocket lab right now happens to be bringing something special to the table their recent tool that they acquired uh of geos their recent acquisition is is but a tool in the tool chest okay that can create this AI empire for Rocket Lab. So Rocket Lab is already operating across many pillars for AI. Okay, so they are capable of launch. They are capable of building their own systems, right? Their own software and that they got going on, you know, their flight software. Uh, they're capable of defense contracts. I mean, the company that they, that they acquired recently, the, the Geos company, uh, is very familiar with contracts with Department of Defense. Um, not only that, I, Neutron, okay? Their Neutron rocket that they're building, that is going to be a huge player in positioning these key elements to create AI infrastructure in space. So Rocket Lab already has all the main pillars they need to build this AI empire. And I think that they're gonna do it. I, I think eventually, um, they're not gonna say everything all at once, but I, I do think that they have something smart up their sleeve. Now AI is already being used with a lot of Rocket Lab's infrastructure that they have. They're, um, space systems or photon spacecraft. So a lot of these things utilize AI and flight software and different aspects. So Rocket Lab is, it's not like they're not familiar with AI, but it doesn't mean that they're not gonna take it to a whole nother level that we haven't quite even thought about. I really think that they are going to want to diversify themselves. And I really think that they are gonna wanna push something out there that's going to be more than just launches, just space systems. Neutron is going to be the key that opens the door, okay, to many possibilities, AI being one of them. So how can Rocket Lab make money off of this AI, you may be wondering. Uh, well, let's see, they can actually sell services, okay? So Rocket Lab can utilize the software, their services, um, it could be used for the government, you know, Department of Defense. It could be used, you know, possibly in that Golden Dome project. You know, I wouldn't be surprised at this point, honestly. Um, and it, who knows, it, it could be used in a 
commercial application sort of an aspect. So we will have to see how Rocket Lab plays this out. I think that everything is pointing towards it though. I think everything is pointing towards an AI revolution in space. And I do think Rocket Lab is going to take part in the AI revolution. So while most people think that Rocket Lab is just a space company stock, I'm also hedging my bet that it is going to be an AI driven stock. And the, that element of AI probably isn't even priced into the current stock price. I think a lot of the current stock price is riding on the, the possibility and capabilities of Neutron, um, their current space systems, obviously their amazing financials, their, their recent acquisitions. But as far as AI is concerned, I don't even think that's priced in yet. So I, I do think that there is heavy momentum possible for Rocket Lab stock. I, I don't know if it's gonna be necessarily in the near term. I think Neutron would be more of a near term catalyst as far as the AI, you know, maybe we're looking more for 2026, 2027 for that, depending on, you know, how they're going to utilize Neutron in, in the very first year um, and, you know, any other acquisitions that they may end up doing. So we're going to have to keep an eye. I don't think it's going to be necessarily an immediate AI play. But I do think in the future, this could be a very lucrative AI play. So that, that's the beauty of the Rocket Lab Corporation is that they have so many, you know, wheels spinning and things going on. So there is so many elements that can move the price of the stock simply because they're doing so many awesome things. You know, I mean, working with different missions, you know, um, just the possibilities. There's a lot of possibilities and uh, I know possibilities don't pay the bills, but if these possibilities do come to fruition, it's definitely going to be a game changer for the industry and uh, for you as an investor. So if you're thinking, oh my goodness, I missed Nvidia when it was like super cheap. I missed Palantir before the big run up. Well, Rocket Lab, okay, I'm not saying it's super cheap anymore, but compared to the other, you know, AI players out there, it's it's pretty positioned well as far as the price point still. I know it doesn't seem like it's positioned well as far as price point when there's been people like me and other people that have bought when it was like $3 a share. But again, like I said, I do not think that the AI aspect has been priced into this. Um, I know with this recent acquisition and all their fundamentals, uh, there have been price targets coming out and a lot of people are saying around the $35 mark, uh, some people $40. Um, I, I don't like to throw specific dollar marks out there. Like I said, there's so many moving parts to this, but could I see Rocket Lab going to $50 a share? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it going to $50 a share. Um, would I be surprised to see it at $50 a share a year from now? No, no, that would not surprise me, honestly. I don't think that, you know, the boat is gone. If, if you're new to investing, I don't think that the ship has already sailed. I think that w the ship is still at the dock. Okay, if you still want to get on board the Rocket Lab community, you still want to invest, or you're an investor and you still want to load up on more Rocket Lab shares, the ship is still at the dock. It hasn't sailed yet. It hasn't left for the moon yet. It's, it's getting ready. It's loading up. I mean, it's loaded up to like in a $30 share range probably, but I really think it, there's plenty of room beyond that. I'm not going to say exactly when because I am not a crystal ball, <laughs> um, you know, I, but I, I can say I do believe it is going to go to $50 a share probably within the next year. And, um, you know, I still think it's a good time to, to load up on Rocket Lab. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this Rocket Lab Saturday. And as always, until next Rocket Lab Saturday, live long and prosper.